Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Range Rover 4.4 SD V8 Vogue. It's 2015 on a 64 plate. Two owners from new. It's done 82,059 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 24.6 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 37.2 miles per gallon. And combined is 32.5 miles per gallon has a 0-60 time of 6.5 seconds, a top speed of 135 miles per hour, out of a 334 brake horsepower, eight cylinder, 32 valve engine. Pretty much my uh, favorite car. Um, absolutely bulletproof, looks beautiful. This is mint, it really is a nice car. So Fuji white, Santorini black roof, it's got the full electric tilt and slide, glass panoramic roof, keyless entry, the silver blade down the side, the body coloured vents, multi-spoke dark silver alloys, Pirelli Scorpions all round. As I've said before, in order to not get it pinched easily, you can knock the keyless entry off. At the moment, if you've got the keys on you, you get out of the car, you touch the handle, it locks itself, mirrors fold in, and that's it. You come back like so, that, that's it. You just put your hand behind there, door opens. What thieves can do with a signal snatcher is stand outside your door. If this is on your whole table or something, big aerial outside your door, and they transmit to the mate who stood next to your car, just get in, drive your car away. In order to stop that, what you can do, the light button here, Right, you open the car, you've then got three or four seconds to press the light button three times and then press unlock. That's, that disables the keyless entry. We'll, ju we'll just try it now. So open, light button, one, two, three, unlock, shut. And then, as you can see, the keyless locking doesn't work anymore. Lock it with a key. and it won't open either. So, so that's it, J just a simple thing. It takes 10 seconds and will make your Range Rover harder to steal. So we've also got rear privacy glass, high pressure headlamp wash, the silver Range Rover badges and grill, front parking sensors there, just tucked in at the bottom here. Lovely, re real lovely to drive car. You, you just float, it's fantastic. integrated rear tailgate spoiler. Now, if you just want to put your shopping in, you come to the car, click like so, with the keyless locking on as well, it'll, it'll just open. And that's it, opens the top. You've got this hard rear load cover there, keeps all the noises, anything rattling about in the boot, sound deadening to great effect. And you can, you can get suitcases in or your dog, you just press that button there and the, the bottom folds down however if you click that button the power close both of them shut if you're approaching the car and you want to get your dog in or load a big suitcase click the button on here and both of them come down so dead easy and again you're going to shut them that's it absolutely brilliant Bags of space in there as well. Back seats fold down uh, independently, 60-40. So you, you can virtually, you, you can get anything you want in really. Great car. It's also got a tow bar. I think it's a detachable ball tow bar, but uh, that's under there too. Got the heavy duty rubber mats in. So a big glass panel sunroof. If it's too hot for you, too light, whatever, you can put the shade band all the way, oh, well, all the way forward. It comes all the way back to open. Loads, loads of room, bags of room, so comfortable. The headrest actually where your head is and not just at the back of your neck like it is in most cars. I mean, this, this is, uh, if you're going anywhere and you're a passenger, then, then this is it. It's, it's the height of luxury, really. Um, the air suspension, 
irons out all the bumps. Just, just absolutely fantastic. You've also got the big, just move that key, the big rear centre armrest here. And uh, <laughs> I, I could just doze off now. You've also got heated rear seats on, on either side. The, the seat in the centre isn't heated, but the rest are. And you, you've got your, your own climate control here at the back as well. Just a lovely car. Isofix rear child seat anchor points. Um, the Meridian sound system. So music is absolutely fantastic too. Uh, I think anybody who watches uh, this channel or goes on Grove and the Garage website will know very well that Range Rovers are our favourite cars. We, uh, we love them and hopefully we'll keep buying them. Uh, and value, value for money. This is this is like, you know, twenty twenty one grand or something. We're asking for it. It's a hundred grand car. You know, <laughs> I, I was behind a Range Rover yesterday, and I was looking at the prices of the new Range Rovers, and they're like two hundred thousand pounds. And you can have this. They say, oh yeah, what, what if the engine blows up? All right, well. What if your battery blows up on a £20,000 car or, or stops working? That costs more than the Range Rover engine. You know, and I, and I know which, which I'd rather have. So it's a, it's a huge compromise if you want your family to be safe, to me, the miles per gallon on these as well, for the size of the engine and the comfort. I, I, just, I just think it's value for money. I really do think it's value for money. To be able to drive a car like this, the way it drives, for the money, um, I, to be honest, I never thought I'd see it. I really didn't. So, there you go. Okay, let's go for a float. So there we go, two keys. Keyless ignition, just need the key in the car. Foot on the brake and press the start button. Put the keys somewhere where hopefully where they're not going to rattle. So service history. There we go. 5th of 1st, 2016 at 13,104 miles Ridgeway at Land Rover. 3rd of the 1st, 2017. 22,479 miles, Marshalls Land Rover, 28th of 1st, 2020 at 49,703 miles, G&D Vehicle Services, 5th of 2nd, 2021, 59,240 miles, G&D Vehicle Services, 27th of 1st, 2022, 68,336 miles, G&D Vehicle service, uh, Services, and we'll be doing it again, that, that will be Northwest Auto Care. We'll be doing that pretty soon. So we'll just do the um, electric memory seat Russian roulette. Uh, one will have been set already by, by us. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what they've been doing in, in here. Somebody with short legs and long arms by the look of it. So that's position two. Position three is never, that's exactly the same. It's never been set. So we'll get back to, we'll try position one. You'll see the steering wheel and the door mirrors. Oh, have been, uh, they all change once you've set them. Go straight back. So, so that's too straight for me. I need to go back like so and get back. And then get the door, the door handles in the mirrors, like so, just down to it. And then uh, electric steering wheel. Yep, that's about it. So now just click M, then one, and that saved the uh, that saved the settings. So we'll we'll set off. I'm going to shut the blind because it's it, the sun's out. It's quite it's cool outside, but the sun's out and it's hot in the car. Uh, I don't want my GoPros to overheat. 
Um, these 4.4s, I always say it, but it does always, it, um, it's amazing how you, your brain kind of puts you in a happy place or makes you feel better if something, if you can kind of recognize some nice feeling or familiar surrounding or, but this, now I can just tell you, reminds me, and I've said it before, but it does, it reminds me of going ho on holiday. When I come out of the, where I live, you're doing this, you're like trundling along, and then I get to the end of the road and I turn, and it's just like being in a plane, going on your holidays, the pilot's taxiing up the runway, comes to the end, usually takes a left, and then once you've gone on the left, you just go up the runway a little bit, and then the next minute, he guns the engine and and you're away. And, and that's, it's, it has the same sort of traction as, as a, a 737 or something. It's just, just amazing. Feels like it's gonna, when you put your foot down, feels like it's gonna spit all the tarmac out the back and just chew the road up. Or if, you, if you're going the wrong way, it might, it might just stop the world on its axis. Fantastic cars got absolutely everything that you could possibly want and a few more things heated steering wheel which is brilliant heated front windscreen high pressure headlamp wash you got power folding door mirrors the three position electric memory seats you can adjust the seats from these switches on the side you've also got lumbar support and these head rests or head restraints that actually feel like pillows on your bed and normally they're you know they're really hard and so on but these are these are nice you've got sat nav bluetooth hands-free bluetooth audio streaming there's your heated front windscreen your heated rear windscreen you down here you've got your terrain response swamp christmas mexico minefield here you can adjust your height the suspension height, not your traction off, why you'd want to do that, I've absolutely no idea. This has also got access height too, so get out, just press that, well, before you get out, is obviously better. You press the access height button there, car sinks down a little bit. But we're just going along here, it's quite a bumpy road, and we're just wallowing. I, I'm about as comfortable in a car or in this car as it's possible to be just beautiful You've got paddle shift here there you go just change down there on the left and again we'll change up on the right you've got cruise control dead simple cruise control 40 mile an hour limit here we're doing about 38 or something click that cruise control on that's it done I can increase the speed by pressing the plus button at the top, the set, and I can decrease it by pressing down here. Indicators on the left, wipers on the right, nice and easy. Everything to hand. The Meridian sound system, as I mentioned before, is absolutely brilliant. The aircon is working nicely, hopefully cooling my cameras blowing cold air underneath here cooler box in there you've also got a USB auxiliary and a power socket nice walnut two cup holders there that's your gear selector and if I press that down turn it over it makes the throttle more responsive and uh, holds it in gear longer absolutely no need for that button whatsoever if you're hooning about in a Range Rover 4.4 or any Range Rover you've bought the wrong car it's all about comfort and safety and just enjoying the drive this vehicle has also got blind spot warning indicator system little I'll try and show you on the motorway better little orange light illuminates 
in your door mirror to tell you there's something behind that you may not necessarily have seen. If it's a motorbike, then your little orange light in your door mirror has probably just saved somebody's dad, brother or son, or perhaps even a, a Sheila, <laughs> if, if it's a lady motorbiker. Just absolutely, it's, it's molded to you. I feel like I'm sat in the seat and part of it. You just don't get any better. Blimey. Oh, was that a Kia EV6 ambulance? And I hope he's uh, got plenty of charge. And we'll just do my uh, my my famous going on holiday in your 4.4 Range Rover Vogue comparison to a jet, and and just just see what you think. I'll turn that down. And, Mind you, that's the sort of noise you get in the jets as well, that like fan noise. So here we go. You don't indicate, mate, I'll just guess where you're going. So here we go, we're taxiing up the runway. You're all excited, ready to go, wondering when the drinks trolley's going to come down the aisle. The last turn. trundle onto the runway and then the pilot guns it. There we are. Whoa, we're going to Barbados. Fantastic. I can't believe how cheap this car, how, how cheap we're selling this car. Just phenomenal. We've also got, and you've got this big armrest here. You've got these adjustable armrests too. Big door card that you can put your elbow on, which you're not supposed to, but it's all about comfort. Just. Fabulous car. So there's a nav, nice simple nav as well. Sorry, well, it's nice simple. If you press it properly, we're doing 60 miles an hour at the moment. I think it's probably got a TV, this. black perforated leather interior and then you've got this kind of ivory color is it ivory or beige i'd say more ivory so a, a, a gray sort of contrast color big car beautiful to drive beautiful to be a passenger in beautiful to look at. Just thumping along the road. Life don't get any better.
Okay, well, we're coming to the famous level crossing here that is usually down when I get here. So I'll uh, finish the test drive here. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.